when I suffer thy foot to be moved, he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold the Shalom, Yasha Allah. Shalom. Akim wa akwaf. Giving all honor, glory, and praise to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, as we gather for another Wednesday's words of wisdom, readings of the ancients, and writings from the inspired prophets of old, which have been handed down to the children of Israel, known today as your so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We will be reading out of the King James edition of the Holy Bible in the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapters 9 through chapter 12. So let's begin. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9. For all this I considered in my heart, even to declare all this, that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of Yahweh. No man knoweth either love or hatred by all that is before them. All things come alike to all. There's one event to the righteous and to the wicked, to the good and to the clean, and to the unclean, to him that sacrificeth, and to him that sacrifices not, as is the good, so is the sinner, and he that sweareth, as he that feareth an oath. This is an evil among all things that are done under the sun, that there is one event unto all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil, and madness is in their heart while they live. And after that, they go to the dead. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. 
neither have they any more a reward. For the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Go thy way, eat thy bread with joy, and drink thy wine with a merry heart. For Yahweh now accepteth thy works. Let thy garments be always white, and let thy head lack no ointment. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of the life of thy vanity, which he hath given thee under the sun, all the days of thy vanity. For that is thy portion in this life and in thy labor, which thou takest under the sun. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare. So are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun. <clears throat> and it seemed great unto me. There was a little city and few men within it, and there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard. The words of wise men are heard in quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. Book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Dead flies cause the ointment of the apothecary to send forth a stinking savor. So doth a little folly, him that is in reputation for wisdom and honor. A wise man's heart is at his right hand 
but a fool's heart at his left. Yea, also, when he that is a fool walketh by the way, his wisdom faileth him. And he saith to everyone that he is a fool. If the spirit of the ruler rise up against thee, leave not thy place, for yielding pacifieth great offenses. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as an error which proceedeth from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it. And whoso breaketh an hedge, a serpent shall bite him. Whoso removeth stone shall be hurt therewith. And he that cleaveth wood shall be endangered thereby. If the iron be blunt, and he do not wet the wedge, then must he put to more strength. But wisdom is profitable to direct. Surely the serpent will bite without enchantment, and a babbler is no better. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious but the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. A fool also is full of words. A man cannot tell what shall be, and what shall be after him who can tell him? The labor of the foolish wearieth every one of them, because he knoweth not how to go to the city. Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child, and thy princes eat in the morning. Blessed art thou, O land, when thy king is the son of nobles, and thy princes eat in due season, for strength and not for drunkenness. By much slothfulness the building decayeth, and through idleness of the hands the house droppeth through. A feast is made for laughter, and wine maketh merry, but money answereth all things. Curse not the king, no, not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which hath wings shall tell the matter. Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Give a portion to seven and also to eight. 
for thou knowest not what evil shall be upon the earth. If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the tree fall toward the south or toward the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. He that observeth the wind shall not sow, and he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. As thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so thou knowest not the works of Yahweh who maketh all. In the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thine hand. For thou knowest not whether shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. Truly, the light is sweet, and a pleasant thing it is for the eyes to behold the sun. But if a man live many years and rejoice in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness, for they shall be many. All that cometh is vanity. Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the days, the ways of thine heart, and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things, Yahweh will bring thee into judgment. Therefore, Remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh. For childhood and youth are vanity. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun, or the light, or the moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail, because man goeth to his long home, and the mourners go about the streets, or ever the silver cord be loosed, or the golden bowl be broken, or the pitcher be broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken 
at the cistern. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh who gave it. Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher, all is vanity. And moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. Yea, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words and that which was written with was upright, even words of truth. The words of the wise are as goads and as nails fastened by the masters of assemblies, which are given from one shepherd. And further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books, there's no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And that Yasha Allah shall conclude this Wednesday's words of wisdom. Shalom, Akim, Wa Akwathim.